Welcome to Understand, this is Jordan over at SciTools. With the release of Understand 7, there are many exciting new features and improvements that have been made, including a completely revamped code check tool. In this video, we'll go over all the changes to code check so that when you upgrade, you can just dive right in. So let's get started. The first and most obvious change to code check is the modernized interface that makes navigating and managing code checks easier than ever. Opening the interface is still the same. Just go to checks, open code check in the top level menu, but now it will open in a right hand window rather than a tab in the editor. Here we can see all of our inspections conveniently categorized by configuration and if we double click any of them it'll bring up a summary of the results. So opening the code check selection is also still the same. Simply go to checks, select checks, or click the wrench icon in the code check window. Here's where things really changed, as now it's possible to organize and filter checks using categories and tags. So let's click edit on our power of 10 custom configuration. All right, here we can name the configuration, choose a standard or filter them based on anything, name, tag, severity, or even just a phrase or word by typing it into the filter. For instance, we can look at control flow tags, memory allocation tags, and it'll show up in the filter. So to get rid of the filter, simply click the X on the filter, or you can manually delete the string in the filter text box. So here I wanna filter by power of 10, which I'm already doing, and I wanna select the first five. Um, so once all of your desired checks are selected, choose whether to have it run in the background or not, with this option up here in the top right. If selected to run in the background, you'll be able to access more features that use these checks like custom eye reports, which we'll cover in a bit, and your configuration will also be running while you continue navigating around Understand. Um, for this configuration, I'm going to deselect it and press save. Close. So another great thing we can do with code check now is also execute multiple check configurations and compare the results by identifying added and removed violations since the last run. So let's run an inspection on our custom power of 10. If this is the first inspection for a new configuration, it'll ask if you'd like to baseline the inspection. So let's press yes. We wanna baseline these 93 violations here. Now let's change the configuration again and press edit and this time I want to run all 10. A quicker way to do that is to just press the check all button at the top here and now you can see they're all selected and I will save that. Now let's run it again. Okay so as you can see we have 3,325 violations and now by right clicking one of the inspections, we can select Compare Inspections and select the two that we're interested in. We're interested in the last one we just ran and the baseline. And now when I press OK, this will bring up an inspection comparison summary where you can see new, fixed, or removed violations by check, by file, and with multiple other tables and charts. So speaking of seeing our results, the new code check emphasizes giving the user as much customization and control as possible. You can choose how and where you view code check results, whether that's in the editor, the code check window, or in the violation browser. Keep in mind that in order to view violations in the editor or the violation browser, um, you'll need your configuration to be set to run in the background, or um, you will need to go to your inspection and just click the eye icon to um, show your results in the violation browser and editor sidebar. Alternatively, if you right click any of your inspections, you can do it in the right click context menu as well. So I have this unused code configuration that is already set to run in the background. So if I double click it, I can see my results in the code check window. Or if we follow a result to a file by double clicking here, we can see it in the editor. So in the editor, your violations will still display on the right-hand side as an icon here. Uh, simply hover to view the information or click on it to keep the information up when you uh, take your cursor away. 
Um, the violation browser is still accessed the same way as well. Simply go to view violation browser and you will see the violations here. So not only can we view violations all across Understand, but we can now leverage new report formats to gain deeper insights into our code's quality. So let's go back to another one of the inspections with more violations. We'll go to power of 10 with all 10 selected. Here you can see you can generate reports for violations by check, uh, generate tree maps and reports for violations by file. Um, so if you want to see the tree map, you can just one click away, or you can simply pull up the full table of your violation results. All of these reporting views will open in a new tab so you can organize them or close them however you wish. Um, one important thing to mention here is that you can also export any of the tables and reports as PDFs, HTML, or TXT files. Uh, you can do that with this save icon here. Now, one of the most powerful new reports that Understand offers is the Compliance Report. To access it, right-click the inspection or click on Compliance Report in the Inspection Summary. So we'll right-click it and we will press Compliance. OK. So once you've generated the report, you'll be taken to the table of contents. Here we can view the summary, uh, coverage, violations, and ignores. Uh, here we can see in our power of 10 summary the 93 violations that we baselined before are ignored and thus several of the checks are marked compliant. In fact, the five that we had baselined. From the summary, we can use the breadcrumbs in the top left over here to go back to the table of contents where we can view the violation list, uh, the ignores list, and the configuration rule coverage like so. Keep in mind that all of these pieces of the compliance report can also be exported as HTML, PDF, or TXT files. Another powerful new aspect of CodeCheck is that you can now create your own interactive reports, aka iReports, to visualize and analyze CodeCheck results in a way that suits your needs. For example, we have a new unused code iReport that will display a summary of the unused code in your project based on relevant CodeCheck results. Um, so here I already have the unused code configuration and um, it's set to run in the background. So to install any custom report, simply drag it into the editor. Um, I've already done this. Then go to Tools, Plugin Manager, uh, select Interactive Reports, View All, and scroll down to make sure that your report is enabled. So my unused code report is enabled. Um, close this. Now under Project Interactive Reports, select your report, and voila, we're, uh, we're viewing all of the unused code in our project in a brand new way. So something that's really exciting is that the uncommand line interface for CodeCheck has also been reworked to make it easier to use in continuous integration and automation processes. So you can now run your iReports from und, which was previously impossible, with the new reports flag. As an example, if we take the report we have shown here in the GUI, uh, we simply need to click the handy command line icon to copy the full command for running this report in und directly to your clipboard. Um, so as you can see, this is the command. Um, and once it's been copied, just paste the command in und and you're done. This was a quick look through the new code check features in Understand 7, which together create the most efficient, intuitive, advanced, and configurable version of the tool yet. For more information on code check or any other tools within Understand, visit support.sidetools.com.